Hey, this is Pastor Purple on day four of our week of prayer reading, and this is about counterculture values. Now, I will confess that I am an online person. I am on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, blog, YouTube, there might be a few others. I've got quite a few accounts. And, you know, Pastor Purple's out there. It's all over the, the internet. It's great. It's awesome. But guess what? Somebody did it before me. And I'm not just talking about the, what is it, like 12 million, billion other users that are on there? I can't remember. It's like something ridiculous. They're in their first year, they're in their birthday week, I think it is. And they're looking at the first tweets that people sent. It's awesome. But guess what? Someone did tweetable moments before that, even before Twitter existed. Imagine for a second that you had to write down and just tweet out what you believe, just in some short values. You had like, let's say 10. Just for example's sake, you have 10 tweets to use in which you're going to say what you believe as a human being. What would you say? Well, here's what Jesus does. You see, Jesus says, God blesses. He blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him. That's his first one. Like, seriously? God blesses those who mourn. Hello? Are we really having a tweetable moment here? I know that you're getting your phone out right now to tweet that. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Imagine that. Tweet that. Can you imagine? Here's another tweet for you. God blesses those whose hearts are pure. God blesses those who work for peace. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all manners of evil things. Imagine that, God blesses you. Those were Jesus' tweets. That's what he wanted the world to know. He sat on a mountainside with thousands of people around him and he taught them in 160 characters. This is what I'm about. This is what God is about. He's about blessing every single person. He's about coming into the lives of everyone. It doesn't matter where you are at, what you are doing, who you might be, where your life is. He wants to bless you right then, right there. And not just so that you can be like, cool, I'm blessed, but so that you will see God, it says, so that you will have the kingdom of heaven, so that you will inherit peace. That's what he wants for your life. Like, what is that? And when you think about it, if Jesus could do that, imagine what we could do if we started tweeting the Beatitudes out to the world. Just saying, something you could do. Maybe you could write it in your prayer journal. Maybe it's a challenge. I don't know. But it's definitely something for us to think about. No matter where you are, what's happening in your life, God wants to bless you. In fact, he probably already is, and all you have to do is look up and see how good he is. Accept it. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for blessing us. We thank you for blessing us no matter who we are, that you don't see all of the things that other people see, that you're not impressed by status or you're not saddened and, and upset enough to not speak to us if we don't have the things that the world says we should, that you see each of us as we are in our true form. You look into our hearts and know the potential that we have, the potential for goodness, the potential for kindness, the potential for peaceful behaviour, and you say, I want to bless you. And so, Lord, I just pray into everyone's life right now that you will just be with them and bless them and, and keep them and protect them. Just encourage them to remember that you are there with them every single step of the way, blessing them as they go. In Jesus' name, amen.